all Paratex shores this morning. Depending on your shoring system, uh, that's what's going to dictate how uh, sequentially or all in one shot you have to do this shoring system. One of the nice things about Paratex are you can put in Ys on your dead man controller. If you're running a dual dead man, you can shoot three or four struts simultaneously. So if we elected to, what we could do to make sure that we don't overpressurize one portion of this inside wall is we could basically, since all our panels are set in place, run a Y to our two bottom sets, which are gonna be two feet up from the bottom, and then run a single line off the other side of the controller to the leg of our T. And we could simultaneously, all at once, bring up all three of those shores to pressure. However you attack this equation, whether you're going to lightly feather one in and kind of hold it in position until you get the others lightly feathered in and held in position and then work them both back and forth, or whether you're going to simultaneously do all three shots. The important point to stress is don't hammer these inside walls or the leg walls without having something in place on the other section. So you got to make sure that you're kind of bringing this all up either step by step very very carefully or shooting it all simultaneously uh, that way you're not going to put a pressure pack on one side of the wall nothing on the other side and potentially force those corners in one way or the other so just remember that when you're developing this remember on our shoring zones we're going to come two feet up from the bottom two feet down from the lip and then four foot spacing provided we're in a standard trench that's less that's not a deep trench less than 15 feet using timber bay shoring then obviously we're going top down uh, and you've got to progress through that as you go. So, Paratech speed shores, air shores, whichever direction you're going in. Here's how we're going to start. So the rescuers are lowering in uh, an appropriate whale at this point. Refer to your tabulated data on what type of whale you are uh, required to use for your soil situation and your depth. Um, also remember that if you have access to mechanical whaling systems like the Paratec whale, it kind of simplifies that process for you. Another important variable to discuss is if you use your bridging as a good template like these guys have done this morning. So even though they've got a soil based trench, they've kept their panels very, very straight, clean, neat and straightforward. You don't have to throw these um, singular standalone shores in to begin with. You can lower the whale system as your initial shot. That's going to save time, speed up the process, provided you can develop that whale, get it all configured at the top side, lower it in, and shoot it without guys being inside of the trench. So if you're using a timber, timber whale with Paratech cross bracing, uh, just simply nail your base plates to the whale and then lower the entire system down. It's also important to note that if you're going to go to that application with your whale, your inside joints, the, the plates that go onto the Paratech, should be a thrust base basically. So it's the two receiving cup L channel base that has the rigging handle on it so that you can wrap your inside corners. So these guys are gonna get this whale down in place and then they're gonna start uh, preparing to go ahead and do topside shots on that. But it, it, you just wanna make the point that it may be a little bit easier if you pre-configure these and lower it all in done together. All right, so we're gonna try and show all the different variables here today while we tackle this T. Um, we basically have three independent shores shot to this T initially at the bottom two foot window set. So you've got a two shore shot here in the head of the T, and we've got a single shore shot in the leg of the T. Those are both at moderate pressures, so they're not all the way up to pressure yet. They are getting ready to fire them all the way up to the required pressure for the soil setting. They've lowered in a whale on the top surface or head of the T, and then they're bringing in struts where they've got their basically their thrust plates coming in. They're going to put that in between the whale and the strong back on the head of the T, and they're going to bring those up to pressure all together. So you're going to get two of these in place here on the head of the T, uh, and then they're going to bring that shore that's already in the leg of the T, they're going to bring it up to pressure. So they're going to be watching pressures, they're going to bring all these up, and they're kind of doing each of this uh, segment piece by piece. When we're done with this, for the top window, at the top two feet of the trench, we're going to do a pre-build where we lower in uh, a pre-built whale with two shores and then a single shore over, over in the leg of the tee and we're going to bring all three of those up together at the same time. So here it is doing it piece by piece and then we're going to show doing it all together as one big shot.
see the gap down there on the blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Rather than having to, to hold all these up at once, let's just shoot that bottom one in, run it up to PSI. what we did, rather than having to depressurize everything, our corners are still captured, which is what our one of our primary missions is to capture. There you go. That looks good there. Good feather. Robbie's good. Okay with it. Good feather. 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 Yes, I need that. Look good, guys. Looks like you're only half a half a whaler there. That's what I was going to lift it up. We briefly discussed different ways that we can do this. This is one method, how we shot everything in individually. All right, everybody see how we done it? We dropped our whale in, then we set our struts in. The first two struts that we set in, or the first three struts we set in, all I wanted to do with those is just capture and hold everything in place. One of the biggest issues that we have with doing a T-trench is getting all of our panels set nice and square. In my mind, I just want to shoot them in about 50 PSI just to hold everything. It frees up my manpower so we can go get things put together because now I don't have to have seven guys in here holding panels in place. And they're going to be wiggling all over the place. So I can put those three struts in. It only took you guys about 10 minutes to set them struts in. Real easy. Think about the long-term process of how long it saved us having to wiggle everything, all like that. Once we move to our whale system, we set our whale in, we held it up off the base, and we shot these in, or laid them in individually, and then we shot them all out together. All right, so that way we're not pushing against one wall first, one wall second, and having a chance of moving all of our panels all over the place. Everything expanded together because you dropped a Y over on your regulator. Everybody with me so far? This time, we've got everything set up on a whale already. So instead of having to set these in individually, we're going to walk over here and slide that whale down into place, have our same Y system set up over on our regulator, and everything's going to go out at once. All right? And this thing's going to be done. Okay? This is where we were talking about you're better taking two or three minutes at the beginning of your system and setting everything in place and getting it pressurized so it holds than you are getting in a big hurry and trying to set them in there, and then you're chasing your panels the rest of the time. Now we've got everything captured. We could even start backfilling behind this thing, getting everything set, and we're still about 35 minutes on this, and we're about to be done with it, okay? Less than an hour, we're gonna have two whales set on a T-trench, and we're done, okay? So remember, take the extra time. When we talk, I don't know if we, Dale and discussed here, the command recon rescue principle. When we show up, we wanna take command of it. We wanna recon and make sure we have a good plan before we start in on a rescue. If we get those two mixed up, all we're doing is we're going to take a half hour operation and turn it into a two hour operation. Okay? Everybody with me? All right, let's take this and set it in. We need to change. So here the rescuers are lowering a pre-built Paratech whale system. The whale is going to the top edge or head of the T. You've got two shores coming back to the strong backs within that head of the T with those thrust plates. And then in the leg of the T, you got rescuers lowering an independent shore. All three of these shores are run to the dead man controller with a Y and a single inlet so that they can simultaneously shoot all three of those shores and bring them up to pressure. So this whale is going to go into the zone. In this application, you see that they have uh, elected not to independently shoot each of these panels and then set a whale on top. They've eliminated that uh, redundancy. Um, so this is an application where we would go right to a whale. You could do the entire trench this way. So you could start with this down at the bottom and then get your second one in at the top. If you needed a mid one, obviously you would add that as well.
Here's your next one. All right, so option one. Option one is to go rigging handle to rigging handle. If you don't have the Paratech truss plates like that, then you can go panel to panel. So you can take that and you put your finger hooks right around the outside edges of each panel and then draw them together that way. So Chansey on these, brother, you're gonna go right below that one that you have. Go over the other, nope, other set, nope. Go where you were, brother. Okay, take one finger hook and go all the way to the outside of the panel and actually hook the thing for them. What do you guys immediately see as a possible challenge right there? Another panel. If you have additional sets going uh, and you've got those panels tight and snug like you should, it can be very, very difficult to get that finger hook in there. Once you got that side hooked, then you're going to bring the other side of the ratchet strap all the way around the joint to the other panel and hook the outside of the other panel and then ratchet those together. I, I think that the rigging handle is a much better engineered application because these not only pull your core together, they also have a tendency to want to kind of flex your fin form away from the surface wall a little bit. So remember, we're not over tensioning these. We're not getting crazy with this. We're putting a containment element on these so that if we lose that inside corner, we're going to secure all that support. All that support coming in. <coughs> While he's doing this side, let's get another guy in there and let's do the other side. Good. 